What noise does a dinosaur make? Can you do it? What noise does a dinosaur make? All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So it has been a, uh, a minute since we've hung out, y'all. Man, it's this dead time with uh, us being down on the car and not doing much has uh, really kept us apart, I guess, though. So I figured I'd come and hang out with y'all tonight. Uh, no body work stuff, but we're at the shop. We are doing some race car stuff, as you see from the title. So we're going to get some powder cutting done and fix, uh, fix the issue that we had that we found um on the dyno at tkm also when i took these when i took this bracket apart this afternoon um my bolts were tight but one or two were i didn't even have to break them loose i never went back and put loctite on them um definitely need to get them loctite when i put this uh put them back together this round but it is what is it sunday night i actually sat at home all weekend did nothing at all went to a little thing uh with Harper and um, the wife on Saturday for Harper School. Besides that, believe it or not, I sat at the house all weekend long. So Sunday night, um, I figured I'd come in and we're gonna go ahead and do some powder coating tonight, or try to. Uh, we are going to powder coat this. So there's nothing to it. There's no seals in it, no gaskets, no rubber, uh, nothing like that. It's just a solid chunk of cast aluminum uh, with the piece we welded on for the V-band. So. Uh, this this will be perfectly fine going through a bake cycle. Uh, we're going to do our Pro Charger bracket because it is ugly. Let me flip the camera around and show you. So the Pro Charger bracket is just ugly. It's nothing nice to look at. You can see it's just like this solid chunk of aluminum. Uh, it looks like I almost have some. Maybe that was, man, what is that, dude? Oh, that's probably grinding dust. As I said, that looks like belt. Huh. Maybe it is just from it being a brand new belt. Or grinding dust, you never know. Obviously, we had issues we showed at the dyno. I'm pretty sure I showed it on camera. Maybe I did not. Um, is we had the pulley hitting right here. It's self-clearance, basically. And that's all it hit. It didn't hit up here or nothing like that. But before I took the unit apart, I did trace it with a, a marker. So we're going to grind this out, notch this down. Just, I mean, the thickness of two driver's license. You know, just to get that clearance. It's already self-clearanced itself. But we're going to go ahead and just make sure it never does it again. Especially now that we're about to add powder coating. Our pro jar housing, like I said, is self-explanatory. Um, we probably, I might clean this up a little bit around here with the grinder and then the piece of uh, intake that Jason Braswell made for us for the pro charger intake side. We're going to go ahead and also uh, powder coat this just so this is black so that, you know, you don't, when you're looking in top of the hood, because that's the side you see, you don't really see it. We're not going to focus on getting powder coat down in there, really. Um, he spray painted that in there for me so that it will look good when you look down in there. So removing all the spray paint out of there and doing a powder coat would now be not fun. Uh, we'll probably just leave that color that it is in there or paint the spray paint inside black, but we're going to go ahead and powder coat outside. So we're going to use our Harbor Freight powder coating system. Now I have went over this in other videos on how to powder coat. I have a couple videos up on actually how to use this powder coating system from Harbor Freight. Basically, this is DIY, just a Harbor Freight powder coating machine. And this is just what I use it for is just small parts that you can fit in your normal household, conventional oven that goes in your kitchen that you're about to cook your turkey in for Thanksgiving. Uh, I have an old oven here at the shop that we use for powder coating. So, so we're not gonna go over in depth at all about um, how to powder coat because I've already done videos more in depth on how to use this Harbor Freight powder coater. Um, so you can either search that or I'll try to drop a link um, either in the description or maybe up above somewhere. I'll try to leave that for you. If not, just search the Paint and Paper Hustle powder coat and then videos will pull right up. They should, they should trigger right up. We have a lot of educational videos. So basically we're just gonna hang out tonight. Let's powder coat some parts and uh, um, let's you know get a couple more things on the checklist done on the car. All right, and no, I'm not a professional powder coater. Uh, my bracket actually has, I don't know if it's anodized. I uh, Googled it real fast and it said for anodized aluminum, you can powder coat over it. Uh, one other place said you need to scuff it up, wipe it down. Um, all I did with, was uh, clearance this out, 180 it and blew it off. I didn't even wipe it down. Probably should wipe it down. Let's grab a uh, rag real fast. I think a lot of people don't realize how little I care about my own stuff. When I'm doing customer work, I try to do it right and take my time. 
But like I was literally about to powder coat that and not even wipe it down. And I don't even know if this mess is gonna stick. So uh, if you're gonna try this yourself, then uh, maybe do a little more research or maybe comment below if this video has got a little bit of age to it. And I will give you a review or feedback on how it's holding up. Look at the dirt. I was literally just gonna powder coat over that. I'm telling y'all. When I started, like I was scuffing this one down a little bit and I was like, man, why did I even do this? Like I should have just stayed at the house, went and laid in bed. Like, I, I'm weird, man. I'm a go-getter. I can bust my tail, work all these hours. But then it's like when I get out of the groove, then I'm just like out, kind of. But I really wanted to get this done. So, all right, there we go. Look at that. All right, I wiped it down, y'all. Let's wipe this one down. And all, I, all I'm using is just normal wax and grease remover that I use for painting. So, I've stuck a bolt through here to ground this because the powder coat you have to have ground. I can't ground my oven rack because it's been powder coated on so many times that it no longer has a ground. There is a way to clean that off. I don't remember it right now. I don't care. We put a bolt through it. We're gonna see if it sticks like this. Uh, I did put paint in my um, holes that have threads in them. All the other holes don't have no threads. So if they need to be cleaned out, you can gently run a drill bit through them. But these holes are threaded, so you wanna make sure uh, they are taped up. And we actually need to let that tape drop a little bit more like that all right so we're turn on hopefully we have a ground and i'm gonna try to go slower this time normally i like want to pound it on and try to get a better finish and i'm not going to do the other side of this bracket because that's going to be up against the motor and you don't see it hopefully we're getting good enough ground it looks like we are Looks like it's sticking to it. See that? That crap right there. The number one thing that I have problems with. So I'm literally just gonna dump this mess on. This is the reason why I don't like powder coating because I'm not really know what I'm doing, per se. I'm definitely not a professional powder coater. I don't even think I'm an amateur powder coater. So we got that spark right there. So we're definitely getting a ground. Our powder coat looks like complete crap. Just how clumpy the dust is. This is what happens when you uh, have no clue what you're doing. Normally like with paint stuff, normally I do know what I'm doing. Not with this stuff. But everything I have done so far in the past has turned out nice, nicer than spray paint would. So that's the reason why I continue to resort to it. I think this gun is just complete crap and I haven't really looked into how to improve it or anything. I don't think that's terrible. It's not great, but it ain't terrible. All right, let's see if we can do this little guy down here. This one I will make sure to see it where my clamp will do my clamp down here because my hose covers up that. I don't think I had a good enough ground on that bracket, I really don't. Because it's sticking so much better this. I mean my dumb self is using a uh, what is that, like a galvanized bolt. This one's looking so much better. And 
if you put your powder on and you don't like the way it looks, you can literally just blow it off. But that bracket, like, I simply just don't care. We ain't gonna worry too much about the bottom. Let's try to turn this around a little bit. And the only reason why I'm powder coating these pieces versus um, painting them, because I am a painter, you would say, well, why are you not painting them? Is because I'm literally so rough with my stuff that I know what's gonna happen with my paint is it's just gonna get tore up. Putting these pieces in and out. Hey, I think that's about it on them. All right, we'll just use the camera light. Let's take a look. Uh, no, she's a little thin. Okay, so you can kind of see how you can see through that. It's a little thin. Uh, it's a little thin down there, so we're going to need more on this piece. Yeah, all that's a little thin. So let's get some more on that. This is as DIY. I have no clue what I'm doing as it can get. I mean, I guess I know how to get results, I guess, out of this. But, like, I can't sit here and, like, educate you on it. This one's working, like, really good. And I think it's because of it being clamped straight to it. And it's getting a really good ground. Also, I think it's better because it is uh, sticking to it, like it's floating in the air, sticking to it and not just like dumping on top of it like the other one. Let's get our clamp off and let's go put this thing in the oven. All right, and just so y'all don't think I'm lying, there she is in my, my house oven. Got a powder coat in my eyes. All right, and rule of thumb, like if you Google it, it seems to like you can bake powder coat for like 350 to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, my hands, and anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes. So I think we're going to go 400, 10 minutes, maybe a little past 10. We're going to look at it, I believe, off of my reading and experience. I think it needs to like uh, almost glass over, and that's because it's literally the heat is like melting the powder from my understanding. Uh, the electrical charge sticks the powder to the metal, and then the heat is actually melting the powder, bonding it to the metal. So it needs to like melt out. So when you get that look like it's melted out, then it's good. So we'll check it in 10 minutes, see if I feel like it needs to go longer or not. Uh, it's just a pure guess because like I said, I'm no professional, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, this bracket right here is probably gonna look like crap, but maybe it won't. Maybe it'll all melt out and lay out. I haven't done the housing yet. Um, it's just got dust over top of it. And I'm also not sure if since there's dust sitting on it powder coat dust sitting on it if i do a ground and keep rock and rolling if i can or if i should blow that off since that technically was not grounded when the powder landed on it so i'm not i'm not sure about that either i'm gonna just go ahead and blow that stuff off though beforehand but that's a good question for an expert i guess if if uh it if that would be okay pretty sure it's not because this whole point of grounding it is so that it will stick to it but maybe that's just gravity like if you're Sticking powder to a wall, obviously it'll just fall off. It doesn't have a weight. So maybe if it's just falling on it, maybe it don't have to be grounded. Now, I'm not 100% sure on that, but we're just going to blow that off and redo it. Uh, I could not fit all this stuff in there at once. I was hoping I could fit the bracket on the bottom shelf and have the pipe at least hanging. Um, I could, I guess, double stacked both of these. And actually, I can and will try to double stack both of these. I'm going to have to figure out how to get the other one out of there and hang it on something to cool. Um, but yeah. Let's get these ran and then we'll see what they look We're like. about five minutes into it and I don't know if y'all will be able to see right through there. Okay, you can see the reflection, how shiny that is. Uh, pretty sure that's because it's melting out. I wish this glass didn't have uh, the little cover over it, but it does. All right, let's check our powder coat. Oh yeah, she's definitely, she's cooking. That's cooking off the spray paint. That's what that is. That might be done. Uh, I 
I think we're gonna pull it. I think that we're gonna consider that right, done. So we got our next one loaded in there. We're gonna let it bake for 10 minutes. I'm a mess. And then we're gonna figure out how to get this thing off this hot rack without burning myself. And then put the Procharger piece on this rack, powder coat it while that one's cooking, and then run this one through. So I'm, I'm not unsatisfied with that. It's got a texture because I don't know what I'm doing. Like I said, I'll spray paint on the inside, but I'm curious what this is gonna look like in the garage and good lighting up against the car. All right, my thoughts right now on this one. So it has like this real strong texture to it. So definitely it already had a texture from Pro Charger because it wasn't smoothed out, but you can see it almost looks like contamination, okay? So I don't know how this one's gonna turn out at all. I got a feeling it's to do with something that's on the actual Pro Charger that probably needed to be removed. Um, I got that side of it done. Didn't really focus on getting all of that done. We're definitely gonna, you know, take a razor blade and uh, just clean that backside up where it bolts up, you know, make sure maybe we, uh, we don't have nothing in our threads. Look in there, make sure we carefully maybe even run a tap through there if we have to just to gently clean it out. But I'm curious to see if this one just turns out textured, like hammered, or if this one uh, develops actual like fish eyes in it. This piece, as this piece is drying, uh, you can see contamination right there. So just like in paint, you have contamination. But everything else on this one, I'm digging it. Uh, it looks good for a DIY Harbor Freight powder coat job, in my opinion. Um, I'm nothing Mr. Big Fancy. So other one's baking. Once it gets done, we're going to stick this uh, actual Pro Charger piece in there. And then we will be done for tonight. All right, so on this one, I messed up. Didn't set my timer right away. So I went ahead and did it for eight minutes and then i just added another two or three that's what it looks like remember this one was on really thick so i baked this one longer than 10 let's get this one out let it cool down throw the other one in all right so it's orange pilly very heavily textured has some clumps this is all going to be behind the pulley there's going to be a big pulley that sits here tensioner pulley sits here so a lot of it is going to get hid and it's kind of just going to be in the background the sides of the bracket look really good, but the top has, you know, this ugly texture. Now, this is going to be matte, so you can see what I was talking about, how it's glossy. It's wet out. It's melted, basically. Um, as it cools, it's going to do the matte satin look, but uh, the, you know, the, the sides look good. I'm not complaining because if, if it was spray paint, it's going to chip. Base coat, clear coat's going to chip. And uh, this is just not an item that you really want to be chipping. I'd rather have some flaws than to be chipping a lot. But just kind of want to show you what it looks like while it's wet. We'll see what this looks like at the house uh, when we stick the pulleys on and just when it's cooled off. We got this guy. Just put it in there. We're going to let her bake. And we'll see what that looks like. Right, let's see how this one looks. She's smoking too. Must be burning off. Let's see here. Cut that off. Must be, uh, it's probably the tape burning because I pushed it. That one don't look bad right now. So we're just going to leave these to cool. We're going to get out of here for tonight. And then I will grab them tomorrow. We'll get them to the house and uh, see what they look like in the actual garage. Stay tuned. Like, comment, subscribe, and share if you haven't smashed that notification button. See y'all.